here now, I still remain committed to the city. And that's why we have spent so many of our resources here and why we thought it was important to pull together this forum tonight. Representatives of the Department of Justice are here and they are listening. And we're here. We're here to ensure that they listen. We're here to ensure that even after tonight, we're continuing to engage in the process to ensure that that consent decree, that judgment that is signed by the city and signed by the Department of Justice and monitored by a federal judge is the best it can possibly be for transforming policing in Baltimore City. And we don't want to do that without knowing that you've had your opportunity to engage. Not just tonight, but you can send those public comment cards to us, and most importantly, stay involved with your local organization so that you can continue to monitor this process. Last thing I'll say is, it's housekeeping, but I have to say it, we are a separate organization from the NAACP. So don't call the NAACP and ask for any gifts that are asked for you. Uh, we've been separate since 1957. We take it as a point of pride that we were created by a son of Baltimore, Thurman Marshall. And we walk in the tradition that he created, a tradition of excellence, of black intellectual excellence, of uncompromising belief in racial justice and equality, of marshaling all our resources on behalf of those who are most marginalized and whose voice is unheard, and putting our clients first. And so tonight is really about you. That's why I'm not going to sit up here. It's really about you. I hope that tonight you will share not just your experiences, but that you'll share your vision for what you think public safety should look like in Baltimore. That means when you walk out of your house and you see a police officer, what do you want that encounter to be like? When you get pulled over, what do you expect to have happen? When you go to the police station to report an incident, how do you expect that encounter to unfold? What do you expect to happen after you've been victim, the victim of a crime? How do you expect officers to behave when they walk through or drive through your neighborhood? How do you expect officers to behave in your schools? Because as you know, this report revealed what we, the LPF, have is really been pressing is the need to look at school police and their role. So you have an opportunity to begin to think about what is it you want, not just what is it you don't want, and to speak that truth. I thank you all for coming. I thank all of our co-sponsors. I thank this institution, University of Maryland Law School, which has stayed on the wall on this issue, beginning with their launching of that innovative course, Freddie Gray's Baltimore, that I had the privilege of also teaching it, along with many of the professors at the University of Maryland, to begin to drill down and talk about the truth of what really happens in the city. So I thank you all for coming tonight. I look forward to hearing from you and um, this is not a one-off. We will continue to be engaged with you as much as you want to be engaged with us. All you have to do is just reach out. Thanks so much.
the victims uh, that are outlined in 160 pages. There's not enough in this room. And because there's not enough in this, in this, in this room, I should tell you something that their hopelessness and that despair still exists.
Smith. Um, and I'm not sure. Seth Wayne's in the back, David. I do a little bit as well. And then there's a number of other folks from our team, many of whom you may have met as part of the investigation because of other case operations that couldn't be here tonight, um, including Winnie Chima, who's been a really important part of our investigation, and she's um, in Seattle working on some of the matters. So I have a few minutes here and a lot to summarize, apparently. Um, but I want to I want to briefly outline the findings that, uh, that we made in this investigation. I think, I hope that many of you have been able to uh, find uh, a copy of the, of the findings report. We also prepared an executive summary and some other items that hopefully make it a little bit for everybody. Um, uh, and those are also available on our website. If anybody can see them directly to it, you can get a copy of it and go back to it. Um, very briefly, we, we found a pattern of practice I'm 